Hey everybody, I'm Dave. Welcome to the Cichlid Charmer, where we tame what's known as the Cichlid Beast. Today, we're gonna to be tackling that age old question, just how many peacocks and haps can I fit inside a 75 gallon aquarium? Let's get right into it. Okay, if you ask 100 different fish keepers how many peacocks and haps you can stock in a 75 gallon aquarium, you're gonna get 100 different answers. And that's because there really is no definitive answer to this question. There are too many factors involved including personal preference. So how do you decide how many fish you're gonna stock in your 75 gallon aquarium? So before these guys were transferred over to this 240 gallon acrylic, they were in a 75 gallon, and that was my first tank. And I did a lot of research, just like you're doing, to find out how many peacocks and haps I should put in that tank. The information that I found wasn't very helpful in a lot of cases, and sometimes it was downright disastrous. So I wanna help you not make the same mistakes that I made. The system that I came up with over time, I found works very well in stocking a 75 gallon aquarium, but not only that, I can spread it across any size tank and I feel comfortable stocking it with that information. So I'm gonna share that with you, but first I wanna go over a few considerations that I think all fish keepers should make before stocking any size aquarium. Before I get too far, I just wanna mention that if you see a lot of chasing going on behind me, a lot of activity, well, these guys just had a water change, and for some reason when I do a water change, they get super frisky. They chase each other around, they color up more. It's crazy. Most fish are terrified of water changes, but these guys are the total opposite. An all-inclusive list of things that all fish keepers need to consider before stocking their tanks would take up way too much time for this video. So I'm gonna go over the basics and the ones that are specifically really important to peacocks and haps. The first thing that we all need to think about is how big are the fish gonna get and how much waste are they gonna produce? These guys produce a lot of waste, and so you're gonna to have to have a lot of filtration to handle that. Not only that, but think about water volume. So if you have a 75 gallon aquarium, how much of that space is going to be occupied by other things than water? Are you going to have a lot of decor that's going to take up space? Will you have a bare bottom tank or are you going to use substrate? And if so, how much? Will you have a 3D background that's going to take up some of the swimming space for your fish? Then think about your water changes. How many are you realistically going to want to do a week? One, two, three. I was doing three water changes on my 75 gallon overstocked aquarium before I moved them over to the 240 gallon aquarium. So I knew it was short term, so it wasn't an issue, but there's no way I wanted to do three water changes a week for the rest of my life. So make sure you consider that before you stock your aquarium. If you're getting value from this video, please remember to like and subscribe. All right, with that out of the way, let me get to the main question of the day. How many peacocks and haps can you fit in a 75 gallon aquarium? Many people are gonna tell you overstock, overstock, overstock your tank. You wanna have a lot of these guys in here because the aggression's so high. If there's a large number of peacocks and haps in the tank, there will be so many that they can't focus on any one of them. So no one's gonna get picked on to death usually. So this is what I did. And does it work? Kind of. It doesn't always work though. You can have 30 fish in a 75 gallon aquarium and one fish will be on the left side of the tank and everybody else will be on the other side. And this fish will come over here and pick at them and come back and he owns this half of the tank. This even happens in here. I have an eight foot tank here and I can have all fish on one side of the tank and one fish all the way over here. This has happened numerous times. So does overstocking work? Well, it can work, but it doesn't always work. So the method I use is different. It's based more on watching your fish and knowing what's going on in your aquarium. So certainly things will happen when you're not home or overnight, but if you do your homework, you watch them a lot, you'll be able to stop a lot of the aggression before it gets too serious. With a 75 gallon aquarium, I recommend not putting any fish in there that are going to get larger than six inches. That will keep them from being too cramped in the aquarium. I just feel that it's more comfortable for the fish to be in there if they have a lot of room to swim in. If you wanna go with a larger fish than that, 
A lot of the halves get to be huge. Some of them get to be 10, 12, 14 inches. Then I would recommend having at least six feet of swimming room lengthwise. So if you have a tank that's freshly cycled, I say get five fish and put them in there and let them stay in there for a week or two before you get more. Watch them, make sure nobody's overly aggressive. You're always gonna be watching, always gonna be watching for aggression. After that, add five more. Now, when you have a 75 gallon aquarium, I think you're at a good level. You have 10 fish, there's plenty of room for them to swim around in. It's not overcrowded. I see some tanks where the fish, there's so many fish in there that there's almost more fish than water. You watch them, they're bumping into each other constantly. It just looks like a busy interstate. That's not what I want for my aquarium. You may, and that's something you can certainly do. I wanna have a peaceful aquarium that's more tranquil to watch. And that's hard to do with the African cichlids because of their aggression. So I say 10 is a good number for a 75 gallon aquarium. It may be slightly less than this, it may be slightly more. I know decor can cause some issues with territory with peacocks and haps, but I do recommend having some decor in the tank that can break the line of sight if someone's getting chased, especially if you have fewer fish in the tank, like I'm recommending, that will give them some place to go if someone does decide that they're gonna be aggressive. If I have one fish that's becoming aggressive and he's not just darting at fish and chasing them a little bit, but he's actually trying to hurt them or he's corralling everybody to one side, what I do is I take him out and put him in a quarantine tank. It's a timeout for a week. I leave him all by himself. And then during that week, these guys have a chance to rest. A new hierarchy can form during this time. So that guy's gone. Another fish can step up and take his place as the jerkfish, king jerkfish. So he's gonna start chasing everybody. Hey, I'm the top dog now, but watch. Don't react instantly and take him out too. You don't want anybody to get seriously hurt, so you wanna take action if there's gonna be some serious damage, but watch and see if it dies down, because usually it will. If it doesn't, then you have to remove another fish. Put him in the tank with the other guy and use a little penalty box that I call. It's actually a breeder's box, but I'll put that in there and I try to give him enough room to swim around in. Then watch your tank. After a week, what I do is I put them back in after I've rearranged everything in the tank. So my decor is completely different. It looks like a different tank. They probably can't remember it anyway, but if they do, I want it to look like a new tank. So I put them back in and watch them. Now, if this happens again, I'm gonna take them out and do the same thing. I'm gonna put them back after a week. And if that doesn't work, the fish is gone. No more jerk fish, what a relief. So he's gone, I take him to the local fish store and that's how I handle it. So I think with a 75 gallon, you're looking at about 10 to 15 fish max, and then you'll have a comfortable balance. If you want to add more, you certainly can, but I wouldn't advise it. With the 125 gallon tank, you're getting some swimming space. I think the maximum that you should have there is probably about 30 fish. And again, that's up to you. You can have more, you can have less, but watching that aggression is the most important part. I'm Dave, you've been watching The Cichlid Charmer. Check back soon for more videos where we continue to tame the cichlid beast.